Hey guys, Fero880, and you have asked for more boat videos. The problem is, where I'm at, I'm in a garage with no water. But here's what I've been running into. 2006 Bayliner. It's all original. I've got dry rod on the tires. Very important for people to check their tires on their boat trailers. Because if you're traveling a bunch on the interstate and so forth, I don't have a spare tire yet. I know I probably should but it's time to change some tires. So let's go check it out. Now to the average person, you probably say these tires are in excellent condition, but if you check right here on the wall, on the outside of the tire area, I've got some dry rot that's coming about. Now, when I go to the lake, which is very rare right now because of the third child, I've got to hit the highway and do about a 50 mile trip. Now if I go to the in-laws lake in North Carolina, I've got a two hour trip one way. So. This is what's got me concerned. Now another thing you can do while your tires are getting repaired, if the garage allows you, and you can also do this in the uh, driveway at your home, when your tires are off, spin your hubs. You can easily feel if you've got bad hub bearings by just simply feeling the hub as you're spinning it. Right now these feel, this one on this side feels perfectly fine. Now guys, correct me if I'm wrong, most factory trailer tires do not come down. Nope. Which is why your fenders like to fall off because of all the vibration. But luckily if you have a good tire shop to take care of it, they will balance your tires for you. So you're asking how much should I pay? For two new tires, 175.80.13s, I paid 165.84 and that included them balancing the tires. So there you go guys, a little bit of maintenance on your trailer and your tires can make your trip a little more effortless when you go to the lake. A big shout out to Tire Exchange in Malden, South Carolina. Dustin was the person who put the tires on. Thanks again for watching my videos. Click subscribe or like and we will see you soon.